College, a scary thought for any high school student. Often thought of as the most important decision of your life. Ever since I was a little girl, people would tell me, study hard in school so you can go to a good college. And recently, a few eager relatives have turned that question into, what college do you want to go to? Well, my initial reaction is that I have no idea. I'm a freshman. But it got me thinking. It's an important question. There's so much to think about. There's the location of the school, the reputation, what classes you take, your major. There's so many aspects it can be overwhelming. But if you want something bad enough, and you know which direction you want your life to go in, does what college you go to really have that much an effect in the long run? I wanted to find out. Could you tell me a little bit, what was it like growing up in Bloomfield Hills? Well, it was a big change for me. I had just moved from Germany and um, it was a huge difference in the sense that I came from a small town with um, a lot of time to play outside and then moved to Bloomfield Hills, which was a very affluent or is a very affluent neighborhood. You know, I started in, in 10th grade and I come from Germany and my English was mediocre at best, so it was a lot of late nights, little sleep. What kind of pressure did you ever feel on yourself or your parents? Did they ever pressure you about college or about life in general? N no, I, they, no, they, in, in a way they made it pretty easy for me. All they wanted from me was to do well. Um, and to do my best, I guess I should say. It wasn't even that they said you had to get all A's. Um, it was more that I should just try my best. And um, But I think the pressure that was put on me was was basically put on by myself. You and were very always internally motivated from yes, the start. Yes, yes. I, I don't know where that came from. Just probably seeing that my dad worked his way up and mm -hmm. um, worked really hard. So I just... Because yeah, growing up so luxuriously or um, comfortably you think affected your motivation of yes. wanting to live that way as well? Well I knew pretty early on well probably like end of junior year that I wanted to go to dental school so I knew that I had to get certain grades to go to dental school I wasn't so much worried about what college. So when did you start thinking about college then? So by junior year you'd already know? Well junior year we did early yeah, um, because we were a small private school, they had a, um, a counselor that knew us very well. I was, you know, Michigan, so University of Michigan was a great school, and um, I didn't have aspirations to go to Harvard or Yale or anything like that, mm -hmm. but, um, but um, you know, I was pretty sure I was going to get in there. So. You know, but I knew I wanted to continue on, so that's kind of what drove me. It's interesting hearing the story of a well-off individual who had her life all planned out, knowing her opportunities were there waiting for her. So, in her case, a good college was beneficial. Her orderliness and privilege definitely didn't hurt her. She leads a, by what most would call, a successful life. I wanted to see if someone could still lead a successful life coming from a totally different scenario. I interviewed radio and television personnel Marion Marciano, a former host of Fox Thing in the Morning and current host of a WGN radio show. So, pretty much, this woman knows a thing or two about being successful and chasing your dreams. I grew up in um, Miami, Florida. I was born in Cuba and I moved there when I was three years old. My dad was a pilot and my mom was a kindergarten teacher. They both completed their education how were you like as a student in your junior high and high school years? I was um, an average student. I was not a great student. And um, the reason was because I, I never studied. I, I registered, I told my mom one day, I'm registering for school. And she says, why don't you want to be a flight attendant? But I didn't want to be a flight attendant and I registered for school and I, and I paid my way through school. You did? I did. And so it was the days before computers, so, um, <laughs> so I, uh, that, me that meant that people actually went to the admissions area and stood in lines that went around the block, basically. <laughs> and you would stand there because you couldn't do to it online. To submit your application? Or to, to try to uh, register for a class. Wow. 
So you, you know, so I had the booklet in front of me, and it was like the last day of registration, and I'm sitting there with this booklet, and I'm flipping through it, and I'm going education, accounting, <laughs> uh, um, psychology, uh, finance, fi yeah, you know, <laughs> right, marketing, you know, whatever. I didn't, I had no idea what I was going to register for, and I didn't care because Did that I scare you that you had no idea. Or? No, I, I just, I was determined that I was gonna get a degree in something. something. I didn't care what it was, business, I didn't know. So, um, so I was standing in this really long line and this guy comes up to me and his name, I'll never forget his name because when I worked at the grocery store, I used to cash his checks. He was like a, he was a flight attendant, a male flight attendant for, um, for Air Florida, a company that doesn't exist anymore. His name was Scott Ayers and he walks up to me and he says, he recognizes me from the grocery store. He says, what are you doing here? What are you signing up for? And I said, I have no idea. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he says, why don't you take a class with me? And I said, okay, what are you <laughs> taking? And he said, um, I, I'm taking PR. And I looked at him and I said, what's PR? Like, <laughs> I thought PR meant Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> so as I took those classes, I had this epiphany where I realized that I loved public relations. Like, this is what I was going to do. Like, it, it was like totally like I thought I had found it. And then I had my second epiphany, which was that I was going to be a journalist. So that's how, it was a complete accident. Wow. So do you think if it wasn't for that encounter with the man at your college that you would have ended up going into PR and journalism? Um, well, I went into PR because of him. I think that if I had not run into him, I might have gotten into whatever class was open. Do you think it was just pure, what would you call it, fate that you fate. ran into him? Yeah, it was like sliding doors, you know, like the, well, I don't <laughs> the know if you've seen that movie. Yeah, yeah, right. It's like one little thing happened that changed the course of, of um, history for me. There's so many myths and rumors about colleges and what they want and how much it helps. I thought instead of hearing it from a friend who heard it from a friend, I would go directly to the source. I sat down with an interview for one of our own college advisors here at Nutrier High School. 